I'm developing. We are the students of 9th standard of Vishal Bharati Senior Secondary School and today we are here to describe a project on the topic removal of microplastics using kitchen products. As we know, water is our basis of life. From the time humans are on this earth, water has been an indispensable component of our survival. Despite 70% of earth is covered with water, but still there is only 1% that, uh, that can be consumed by us and we are demolishing that one person as well. The causes are many, but all of them can be treated except for one. In the current world scenario, the most fatal cause is microplastics. Microplastics, as the name suggests, are tiny particles of plastic, which are 5 mm or even smaller. These get dissolved in water sources by the means of industrial waste and many more. As we know, that they are very small, they cannot be separated from Water bodies, even we human beings, unintentionally consume them. The researchers have shown that each human consumes at least 10,000 microplastics in a, a year. They are very small, so they are not able. They are very small, so they cannot be separated from usual and simple water waste treatment. Big particles of plastics are able to be separated, but those who are very small, they cannot be separated from waste water waste treatment. It is found that the sticky and slimy substance from many plants and vegetables such as okra and aloe can help in removal of these microplastics. In our invention, we will be describing how this actually takes place. So our main aim is to separate microplastics from fresh water and other water sources. The material required are very general products such as aloe and okra. So the methods that were followed are, first we took some amount of aloe vera and okra and dried them in sunlight for 7 to 8 days. Once they are completely dried, we ground them to form a fine powder of it. So now we have two powders and this is our 20 ml of water, 200 ml of water. Microscopic image shows that this, plastic, this water contains microplastic. So to remove that microplastic, we will add our two powders in this water and then we will be mixing it well and these powders totally are 15 grams After mixing them, we will left it for whole night. If we left it overnight, now this powder will form a gel-like substance which would be so powerful that it could even trap minute particles in it, including microplastics, and this can be proved by the microscopic images. So, as all the products that we have used are affordable and are natural, we can conclude that the whole process is economically beneficial as well as eco-friendly for us. Hence, we can conclude from this that if this approach is applied on a large scale on big water bodies, it will be enormously advantageous for us. Thank you so much. You have a nice day.